members of the church want to fly away one day. Amen. Amen. Y'all can do better than that. Who want to fly away? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We will do our reading today out of 2 Timothy, the second chapter. Starting at verse 20. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strife. And a servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, out to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure would give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. May God bless the who hears and doers of his holy word. You may be seated. Could one of you, brethren, please lead us to the throne of grace? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
the upright man. Psalms 1 in your Bible, selection number 585 in the back of your hymnal. When you find it, please stand in reverence to the Word of God. The upright man. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But he delights in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Together, for the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Please turn and heartily greet one another in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
front of me, Numbers 18 through 21. Numbers chapter 18 verse 21 in front of me. Shall we? Hebrews chapter 7, verse 5. Mm. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Hebrews New Testament. Amen. Amen. Where are your finances? Where are your finances? Amen. Amen. Where are your finances? Wherever your finances are, someone wrote, that's where their heart is. Amen. It's amazing what money do to you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, the lack there. Thank oh, you. Yeah. There you go. Amen. I think this is the sixth week, and I'm just now getting the money. That's it. The sixth week of talking, and really did I really should be back on on uh, ability. <laughs> I should, should, should really spend another Sunday on abilities to get us understanding that 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 God has entrusted us. You know, just be, if if you are a great word processor, don't be going around thinking it's only for you to make money with. <laughs> Amen. All right. Am I am I am I able? If you understand operating systems, and computers, and cell phones, and all these other things with great simplicity. Don't think it's just giving you so you'll know whether or not uh, T-Mobile or somebody ripping you off. He has given you this proclivity, this ability. If you have, if you're a great charm with numbers, some people just have, and they can. Some people can wade wade through the red tape and see the bottom line, while others are buried. Trying to figure it out. I started to call somebody's name that has impressed me that way. Amen. Right. They can look right through it. Great. Get right to the bottom line. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I can't help it. I, I was, I'm going to do it. Sister Vera Brown. She can get a bunch of numbers, a group of numbers, and boom. Just like that. 
Amen. If she wasn't going to school, I'd have her do another seminar for us. Amen. Yes. And when I see people like that, I will use that talent. Not bragging, please. But I'm just highlighting because she had to do a, 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 a sale on me. I knew my daughter understood journalism. But there's more to it than just journalism. Yes, you know, when you're doing, trying to make a venture like But when I saw the first paper, I just shut up. <laughs> Because I saw all of the talk just put, boom, here it is. Same thing they do in West New York Times, or Baltimore what? Baltimore Sun, Washington, Oakland Tribune. Speaking of Baltimore, pray for Darren because they in there, they in Baltimore now. <laughs> Amen. And them Ravens are mad. Amen. <laughs> You got talents. And if and if Coach Miller keep on doing what he's doing, putting seventy-seven points on folks out of town. I told him the University of Texas may be coming out the end. You have abilities. And don't think they were just for worldly use. Amen. See, I was going to go on to this money, but y'all, I don't want to let you see. Yeah, you back. have it. it and you know what we do? We hoard. Yeah. We hoard yeah. these talents. Yeah. Talk about I want to be a bitch member. Yeah. Ain't no such thing. The bitch doesn't need any more members. I told you that last week. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we do. I just want to come and sit and listen to that Reverend Rob. I used to be stupid enough, excuse this expression, to think that people would tell me on oh, my early years, oh, we want to hear you teach Reverend Rob. That wasn't, that's the biggest tale. We want to hear you preach that. Listen, and I've been up here Sunday after Sunday. They somewhere on the creek. <laughs> but they want to hear me so bad. They sure do down in Bossier City. Say it, say it. It had me thinking my, my head just swole up. It'll <laughs> <laughs> show you how much they got. Yeah. Let, let, let me lay down tonight, brother, brother White to come get me. Should y'all have somebody in here for, for sundown? With one of them long curls, with, with, with S curl, okay, and them plaits, and, and doing that, huh? <laughs> Somebody help me here. But the point, the reason why I'm spending all this time, and it's not really, I realize the Lord revealed to me that we need to understand the real scope of, of stewardship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm teaching. I'm teaching. I'm, 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 I'm setting example for these ministers whom God has entrusted to me. As I told them all, you, you didn't, he didn't send you to Mount Gilmore. I ain't, he didn't send you to Sunset. You can't, he sent you here. And I intend for you to be obedient to me. Somebody ought to say amen. Because I didn't send for you. I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> but I have sense enough to know once you get here, somebody ought to help me. And you are a resource. This is you. What I'm doing is stewardship. Y'all don't hear me. Yes, sir. Each one of these situations I just spelled out to you is stewardship. In those texts that you just read is the aspect of why God, some of the reasons why God asked for the time. Yeah. This, this is not about money. Miss Ida 
Miss Ida Lee Woods, Ida L. Woods, in 1932, was a bag woman in New York. Nobody had didn't want to be associated with her, with her. She didn't have any relatives. She was a recluse, so to speak. And when she did come out, filthy, so to speak, well, she died. And there they found, just around the belt that she had on alone, over a hundred and something thousand dollars. And when they got through checking, the court, the Superior Court, New York, she was worth $877,329.43. A bag one. Nobody would have anything to do with it. And then when that was found out, you know how many cousins she ended up having? $877,329.43, and she ended up with a thousand cousins. It's amazing what money make you look like. Somebody help me here. But God says to us, listen, God says to us, first of all, you should never equate anything based on money. Anything lasting cannot be equated on a dollar and a cent. Are y'all with me? Anything lasting. Because, because monetary value doesn't last. A dollar will not buy you. Watch. Well, we were talking. When I was a, when I was a kid, you know, now, Brother Green, we can tell folks that. When I was a kid, really, I could take a dollar and eat more than I can with five dollars now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Could we do it, brother? We get us some, 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 some massages that long and real cheese. I mean, real a wedge of real cheese and some stage planks. That, you don't know what stage planks? Oh, honey. Gingerbread with a little pink icing on one side. Huh? Is that all right? And they had real cookies, Miss, Miss, Miss uh, Linwood, real cookies. The jumbo, you get a jumbo cookie for a penny. <laughs> I'm just giving y'all a little roll back. We, we gonna get back. I want y'all to understand. And then you know what? You're about all this good stuff now. Listen, listen, you got the work. But right now, it would take you ten dollars. <laughs> and some change. <laughs> so you going around basing your worth over something whose value never remains. <laughs> Come on here. And you know what? Look, 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 I don't care what you buy. You can buy, you can buy a diamond ring, a Rolls Royce, a brand new water, whatever it is, and in one year, nobody will give you what you paid for. Or less than that. So you can't equate valuable things on dollars and cents. That's why God said. You know, I can take all of it out. If I remove you from being an owner, yeah, yeah, if I, if I fix it where you can never be an owner and you can only be a steward, maybe you'll treat one another right. Because by uh, all said and done, I don't have any more than Brother Palmer or Reverend or Watson, and neither do they have more than I have. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Finances is where your heart is. 
and con contrary to secular viewpoint, if you don't own it, you won't take care of it. Somebody will say, oh, I don't care. That. I'm just renting. <laughs> well, listen, baby, if you won't take care of it and, 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 and you're renting it, you ain't going to take care of it anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -mm. Being a steward should increase our care and diligence in the use of property and wealth. It is not ours. <laughs> you, 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 and you're using it to satisfy the owner. Somebody ought to help me here. When I was trying to get <coughs> to persuade someone in a job well, I tried to do the best job I could possibly do. You know. Because the job, because I knew it didn't belong to me. I was looking for somebody else to give me an opportunity. Are y'all with me? Nowadays, we do we really care? Do we really care? Do you really care about the job you're doing? Or all you care about there is the clock. Somebody help me here. Just make sure that the clock will have add up to be 40 hours. That's all I care about. <laughs> and that's the same way it's gotten in the church. We don't care about our service. Did you know you are an investment? Did you know you are God's 501k, 401k? That's it. Yeah. God has invested in you, and he's invested in you every day. Now, what kind of return is he getting out of it? Every day. And the devil is trying to trade you on. They're trying to trade, trade you on the on the on the spiritual stock market. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's trying to trade your value down. Somebody to help me here. Yeah, yeah. God's invested in you. Did you not know that? He's invested some 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 strength every day. Blood, sweat, and tears every day. Yes. God is investing in investing your breathing every day. Yes, giving you the ability. He could have given it all to somebody else. Yes, sir. But he gave you some. What are you doing with it? My Lord. My, 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 my. And then you're gonna have the audacity to talk, tell God, it's time for me to take about take see about me. Oh, well, you don't even belong to me. I'm about to take my seat. Contrary, my brothers and sisters, God will hold us responsible for what we do with what he gives us. Our everyday stewardship, even maintaining a vehicle. How well you take care of just your own vehicle, how well you wash it. In. I don't buy a guy out of the car washing business. <laughs> but I like a clean vehicle. But you know, listen, listen. My mother used to talk that how you feel about whatever it is you're dealing with it will come out and how you treat it. Can I get a witness? Now, I'm not bragging, but you can ask Sister Robert. Sister Robert never has to pick up behind me. Somebody would help me here. She hadn't put up, really, she hadn't put up a suit of mine in 44 years. Can I get a witness? Unless I got sick. She never had to put up my shoes. Somebody would help me here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because when I get out of them, see, Mama taught me, said, if you don't care anything about them, you're not going to keep them. And if you're not going to keep them, the Lord's not going to bless you with any more. She put that in me. Somebody to help me here. And so when you, whenever I get out of where, you, listen, it, it, it's got a place for them. Can I get a witness? Uh, yeah, you, don't y'all look at me like that. If you think I'm lying, ask them. Can I get a witness? And because I realized, see, Mama knew I didn't have but two pair of pants. Somebody ought to help me here. 
And what she was trying to get me to do, she was trying to make those two pairs last as long as they could. And she knew they weren't going to last if I'm going to walk them out in the floor, drag them around across the house. Somebody help me. Boy, wherever God gives you, take care of it. And that's what I'm telling you this, this morning as I, as I go halfway through this finance business. Yeah, what I'm telling you this morning is God, may, the reason why you may not have is because you didn't do much for what he gave you at first. That's it, that's it. Can I get a witness? Right. Yeah, yeah. You know that lady that, 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 that only had that one measure of meal? Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I believe that's in 1 Kings chapter 18. She only had that first measure, just, just, just a little measure of meal. And here come the bald head preacher. Can I get a witness coming down the street? And she see, he sees it. She says to him, she, he says, uh, 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 I need you to fix me a little bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a witness? And she said, she said, now this is this is Elisha. And she said, listen, I only have a measure of meal. Yeah, that's it. And this was doing a famine in the, in the land. And said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a measure of bread for me and my son, right. and then we going to die. Because it. there's not anything else left. And he just said, again, you know how these preachers always insisted. Yeah, yeah man, always begging for money. They didn't just get started because they know you got more than that. You ain't going to get broke. I ain't seen anybody yet get broke in the church. Right. Somebody ought to help me. Here. But he said, he said, listen, before you fit, do that, fix a little bread for me. <laughs> Somebody find it. Somebody think I'm lying. Y'all find it. First, 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 first king. Yeah, yeah. And so that's what she did. She, she went and got the meal and knelt the meal together and made some bread for Elijah. Elijah, rather. And then she went back. Can I get a witness? And, 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 and made going to go back. She just knew it was all gone. After she made it for the old preacher. Can I get a witness? Come on, come on. After she made you come on over. After she made it for the old preacher, then she goes back to the meal. But you see, this was before these young, all this micro, all these microwave generation. But, 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 but Sister McGill know that her mother, see, I knew her and mama, they did the same. They kept their meal in a lard bucket. Can I get a witness? And the lard bucket had a top on it. Come on here. Ah, and it had a, she had a, 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 a tea cup that you put down in the, in the, in the uh, meal bucket. And any time the flour in the meal got low, you could tell it because you could hear the teacup scraping the bottom of that meal bucket. Y'all don't hear me. Can I get a witness? And that lady, I uh, had a preacher preach the sermon one time, said she was living from the bottom of the barrel. Every time she went to that barrel, that meal barrel, and expected to get the last of the meal, she'd have enough in there to make another meal. Can I get a witness? Every day, she scooped into that barrel. Over oh, that meal that should have gone out a month ago. And she still had enough to make another meal. Let me tell you something. When you trust God, you can be down to your last dime. And he'll make that dime grow. Yes. He'll make that dime grow. Can I get a witness? Next day you know if you need a dollar, it'll become a dollar. If you need an electric bill paid, it'll get an electric bill paid. If you need gas, the gas turned on, it'll get your gas turned on. If you need a way to work, it'll provide you a way to work. Yeah, right. Woo! Yeah, oh, yes, he will. Yeah, I tried him. Yeah, oh, yes, he will. Can I get a witness? Uh, I'll tell Sonia, uh, well, yes, Sonia, Sonia and, 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 and Ashton and, and, and Chelsea, they look at Nanny and I. That's what they call Sister Robin. Uh, as well, I said, listen, we haven't always been this way. Can I get a witness? But I trusted God. I trusted God. Yes, I just 
us trusted God and she trusted God. And the next thing we knew, a nickel, a penny made a nickel. Can I get a witness? And a nickel made a quarter. Can I get a witness? And a quarter, 50 cents. Y'all don't hear me. And the next thing I knew, I just kept giving back to God Almighty. And he put shoes on my feet. Yes! I wouldn't take nothing. Young people, know that God owns it all. Not one, anything. Who was it? That great king of France, Charmaine? Yes. Yeah. Had him sitting on a throne. The throne with gold laced. He was in shop in, uh, uh, enshrined in a wonderful shroud with golds and diamonds in it. Sitting there on this throne, looking like the epitome of power and authority, but he was dead. <laughs> they had him sitting there, but he was dead. Don't worry about these things that transcend in this life. You look toward that life where make sure your treasures is in that life where time doesn't register with it. Some of you have been thinking about this. Somebody been thinking, say, you know, I've been living so day to day. I've been living so week to week. Paycheck to paycheck. Has it ever occurred to you that if God made you, why don't you go to the one that made you? There you go. Amen. One last little thing that I want to share, and you probably heard this, about the Rolls Royce Company. You know, that you know in World War II, the Rolls Royce Company kept the British Army afloat and many of our tanks end up with Rolls Royce engines. Excuse me. But after the war, they built the Rolls Royce. One of the claims of a, of a true Rolls Royce was that you ought to be able to stand a dive on his edge, on the hood of a Rolls Royce, and it's sitting there island, and that dive should never fall over. That car is so tuned, so, so perfect. Fine. Guy bought a Rolls Royce. They shipped it over here to America for it. He began to drive. Started having trouble out of it. Went to somebody. You know, do a little fixing, you know. Oh, I can fix it. <laughs> they started working on it. He ended up calling London. Rolls Royce Company and told him the situation. Said, whoever it is that had that 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 is is bothering that car, stop them right now. Load the car up, we'll pay the freight and send it back to London. And we guarantee it, and we'll send it back. Said because only the ones who made it knows and understands. Y'all don't hear Only the one who made it. I dare you to go back to the one that made you. 
He can make you stand up on that air. See, I'm trying to do it now. I can't, I can't get that down. It's kind of... Salvation and glory. <laughs> Sing that choir back to its makeup. We are guaranteed. always done. In Jesus' name, all the people said, ah, men, if y'all come right away, amen. If you